Okay, so since I'm in Japan um, and I've got an hour to kill, I thought I would give you a bit of a story of the um, this area and where this temple that I took photos has actually came from and where it came from in the village. Um, so just letting the story begin. Um, this island, the place where we are, where it's all civilised, used to be basically an island with a river um, going through it. And then one day, um, two fishermen came and found like a Buddha shrine. Um, and it brought luck and prosperity to the village. Now I'm learning this, we're trying to remember this from mostly what David told me. Um, so I might get a few bits wrong, but when they brought it to the village, people used to create it in little miniature shrines and their lives were enriched by good fortune. Um, then one day they decided to build a bigger shrine um, because the main lord had declared that it was a holy triumph. Um, so then after that, um, Japan went to war which was a bit unfortunate, of course, so this is them all getting prepared for war. So what they done to try and bring themselves a bit more luck was they put on top of their cannon, and when the main lord... Um, so yeah, when it came in, they all prayed to it for luck. They used to bring back the people from the war. And then when the war was over, good luck and prosperity will mean that stayed on top of the cannon for many, many years. And to this day, it's still said to have magical goods and people celebrate the wonder of it every single day. So um, there you have it, a very quick, short story while I'm in this busy, bustling street. That's why I'm sorry you can't hear me. I'm going to go buy myself a Yukata, which I saw for quite cheap so that I can wear it to the Harajuku Park because I'm not wearing my cosplay tomorrow. And then I'm going to go see if I can get some cheap little souvenirs from work. I might just get them a bag of sweets or something. But thank you. Bye-bye.